Hello, my beautiful babies. Today's reading is going to be a fun one. This is going to be what are their long term slash sexual fantasies with you? This is going to be an 18 plus reading. So if you are not over 18, okay, get up out of here, son. Get up out of here. But we're going to dive right on into this reading. We're going to start off what are their long term fantasies with you, and then we're going to jump into what are their sexual fantasies with you. So let's hop right on into this reading. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. Please make these messages as clear as possible. What are their long-term fantasies with Pal in the morning? What is their long-term fantasies with Pal number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What are their long-term fantasies with Pal number one? Okay, so we have the Queen of Waters here. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. We also have here the nine of fire. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? And we also have here number nine, the hermit card. Okay, the number nine can have significance to you. I'm here in Virgo, September. Um, hmm. Fulfillment, happiness. We have the Eight of Waters, which is the Eight of Cups here. We also have the Seven of Air, which is the Seven of Swords, okay? So I feel like they're long-term fantasy with you and then we have yeah number 10 the will of fortune i feel like um their, their fantasy is to have you be a little bit more soft a little bit more um with this queen of of waters being here they want to um their long-term fantasy with you is to get you into your feminine your divine feminine energy um so you can be the best you this might not be the empress but with the water with, with the queen of cups it makes me this makes me feel really good because this it's, it's like this person wants you to be a hundred percent this person wants you to be healed this person wants you to be um at your best capacity at your greatest capacity I, just in case you didn't know when you are your happiest or when you are feeling you're more you know you feeling on top and you feel like you're loving yourself and your cup is overflowing it's overfilling excuse me you are able to manifest things close to you. You are able to draw things um, closer to you. You are attracting things more on a regular base. I feel like their long-term um, fantasy, for real, is to help you get out of this nine of fire and the hermit energy where you are feeling like you are by yourself. You got to find yourself. Um, you know, you got to tuck away your, with the stars being here, you have to tuck away your, how can I say it? Your attraction or you, you have to dim your light you know i feel like that that's this person's long-term fantasy for you to know that you can be comfortable like you don't have to guard yourself you don't have to be in this hermit mode you know what i'm saying like you don't have to run away you don't have to leave like this person is not trying to hurt you this person is trying to open you up you know this person is trying to show you that it's okay to step in your divine feminine energy step into your femininity in general you could be soft you could be um flamboyant you could be kind you could be open like like I feel like their long-term fantasy for you is like for you not to be scared of being loved, okay? And then we have the um, moon card at the bottom of the deck. They just want you not to be afraid of your, one, your gifts, okay? You could be someone that has gifts and your gifts, um, like you see it here and there. You get what I'm saying? Like, don't be scared of your gifts. Don't be scared of your emotions, your feelings. Don't be scared to show your feelings and emotions because everything that happens in the dark always comes to the light. So just remember that. Let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Okay, so we have here, we have the nine of voices again. No, this is the nine of swords. I'm sorry. Nine of swords. The number nine, though. The number nine may have a lot of significance to you. Take that as it resonates. Um... What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Two cards came out. We have the number 11 justice card. We have number um we have the five of voices, which is the five of swords. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? We have the queen of voices, which is the queen of air. What is their long-term fantasy with pound number one? Too many cards, but thank you. What are their long-term fantasy with pound number one okay so we have the nine of emotions nine of cups what are their long-term fantasies with pound number one we also have here number 12 the hang man uh should i stop there i'm gonna get another role okay 
But it'll go in turn. Fantasies will find number one. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. There, guys. Messages as clear as possible, universe. We have the four of materials. Wait a long term. Fantasies will find number one. We also have here the ace of emotions. Ace of cups. What is their long term? Fantasies will find number one. We also have here the two of inspirations, which will be the two of wands. We also have here the eight of voices, the eight of swords as the overall energy. The bottom of the deck here is the knight of voices, which is the knight of swords. And we also have here the seven of materials, which is the seven of pentacles, okay? So you guys could have um, a lot of air placements, or the person could have a lot of air placements. So Aquarius with Gemini doesn't have to be, but it could be. Also, I'm getting here a lot of um, maybe water energy I'm getting. But I feel like this person's long-term fantasy is definitely for you to look at love in a different perspective. Look at love from a different angle. Um, get out of, with this Eight of um, Voices, which is the Eight of Swords, get out of the mentality of what you are used to or what was happening to you prior to. I feel like this person wants to show you that they're different. Um, I'm also feeling here with this Five of um, five of Voices, which is the Five of Swords. Like, maybe this person wants to... Um, Maybe you and this person may have a soul contract or maybe later on down the line, like you and this person wants to own things with you. Um, this person wants to marry you. This person wants like the full commitment, I feel here. Um, there's something about, I'm looking at this, like I don't know, maybe this person has olive skin. Maybe this person like enjoys pasta and this person makes really good pasta. I don't know, maybe you guys are going on a trip to Italy. Take that as a resonates. So this is, this is somewhere that this person wants to take you. Or maybe you've been there with this individual. Take that as a resonates. Maybe this is a fantasy of you guys. Like maybe you guys had had conversations of places that you guys wanted to travel and Italy was it. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Um, I'm definitely feeling here like this person wants to show you they're not, they're not like everybody else. This person wants to put you on a very high pedestal with this queen of voices, queen of swords here like they want to show you and help you understand that you can be who you are and still be showered with love you know you are whoever is watching this i feel like mostly you, you are very masculine so you could be an aries aquarius leo um i was going to say a fixed sign but you know you could be someone that's very masculine very um a dominant person like i feel like you always had to be strong you always had to you know you, you it, it, it was very rare that you was able to step in your feminine energy and then when you do it's like somebody like they took your kindness for a weakness so i feel like their fantasy uh, um their long-term fantasy with you is to show you that they're not like everybody else show you that there's, there's a different way with this two of wands being here there's a different way of thinking there's a di different way of loving there's a different way of being passionate you know what i'm saying um don't worry about the past worry about what you have in front of you as of right now i feel like this person really loves you for you you ever been like you ever dealt with somebody and it's like you have to change yourself because um maybe a person doesn't like something is there's nothing wrong with i want to choose my words very wisely there is nothing wrong with compromising you know if it's something minor like okay you put a dish in the sink you um just please make sure that you wash it just the, the dish before you go to bed you know that's something that's very doable that's something that's very understanding because nobody wants their house to be dirty or messy whatever the case is but if this is something like if if, if you are a person that has like let's say an ocd an ocd is not easy to break out of or change you know what i'm saying so if this person like you, you're probably used to people um trying to break you out of something that you've been doing for a very long time like even when you met this person you was doing it and at at, at a point this person really didn't enjoy it but all of a sudden now they don't like it you get what i'm saying i feel like this person's long-term fantasy is um for you to realize like there's a lot of different um every every person is not the same because i have to remember i am talking to men and women um every person is not the same i feel like that's their long-term fantasy for you to realize like you know shift your perspective um especially with this hangman being here shift your perspective and don't think that everybody's lying to you with this um because with the seven of emotions seven of cups in the middle of the deck i feel like a lot of people may um have given you false hope may have given you some type of facade telling you shit that you want to hear or um making you feel like it could be something and it really turns out to be nothing or everything seems like to be very short term and then you know you could be someone that winds up having a bunch of options the shit that you don't want to do i feel like this person is really trying to show you what real love is that's their long-term fantasy with this ace of cups being here show you what real love is showing you how it feels to have your cup um being um filled overfilling with love um showing you what true genuine love is i feel like this person like they're not even looking for nothing back in return because we don't got the two of cups here this person wants to give you this ace of cup they want to give you their cup you know i feel like this is a person that's willing to do and um they would do anything for you i feel like this person is definitely with the four of 
sorry, with the four materials, which is the four of pentacles being here. Um, like I said, the long-term fantasy is definitely for you to get back into your energy. This person wants to protect you. This person wants to provide for you. This is, this is definitely given like, uh, I love you. Like this person, I feel like this person loves you very much. So, um, with the nine of voices, which is the nine of swords being the first card that came out, I feel like they want to, um, their long-term fantasy is for you to know that you don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be sad. You don't have to dwell in the past. You understand? Like, I'm here with this justice card being here. I'm here to show you that, you know, you, if you ever heard that saying, if, um, if you fuck with me, you stuck with me. I feel like that's what this person is. That's what it's given. It's like once you, um, their, their long-term fantasy is to show you that they're here to stay. They're not here for, a for a little bit they're not here to play with you they're really here to show you what real love feels like for you not to be stuck in your head all the time for you not to be thinking that everybody's going to treat you or play play with you the same way every single situation or for you not to think that every person that you deal with after even if you guys don't work you don't feel like okay every person is the same or everybody's going to be doing the same thing to me I, I might as well you know get my hopes up or whatever the case is okay this this is definitely someone that understands your um wanting to be by yourself or pushing away because I feel like you do that a lot you could be a, a individual that tends to push people away especially when it starts to when especially when it starts feeling good when it feels good it's just like it's a red flag you understand like in your head it's like it's too good to be true so if it's too good to be true I need to push you away before you know shit get worse or before um a certain situation happens I feel like deep down inside you guys could have water placements it does not have to be so you can have cancer scorpio pisces predominantly in your um in your chart it doesn't have to be that but Genuine, um, genuinely and generally, you are a person that usually is very loving, caring. Um, you're a provider. Um, you're someone that likes to see people happy. I feel like you, yeah, you're a person that likes to see people happy. Um, you've always been a, like a caregiver kind of person. Your work, um, your love language is definitely um physical touch, um, doing things for people. You know. Even giving people, like, words of empowerment. But let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Please make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Whoever this person is, is definitely given, like, this person is, like, an alpha male, alpha female, or whatever the case is. Like, this person is definitely someone that likes to take charge. This is someone that wants to show that it's like they have a, a, a point to prove because I don't know if this person has been around you for a long time to stay like seeing your depression or um you could just be someone that gives off like you know that you're sad or you're hurt there's certain things that you haven't healed from there's certain things that you know you're still you know trapped in your feelings and emotions about certain things so you like to keep people at arm's length um make these messages as clear as possible universe spirit guys please what are their long-term fantasies with pound number one okay we have flirt what are their long-term fantasies with pound number one make these messages as clear as possible universe this is definitely a person that's going to be sitting there, like, coming up to you out of nowhere, like, oh, you're beautiful, oh, you're handsome, oh, you look good today, oh, you smell good to get today, just to make you feel good, just to start your date off right. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Like I said, they're going to be giving you words of encouragement, giving you empowering words. Sheesh. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Okay, so we have calling in your soulmate. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. We also have children. Like I said, this person wants the future with you. You know, this person wants you to see that they're that you're part that they're part of your soul tribe. You understand what I'm saying? Like I feel like they're not forcing nothing. They're not trying to push nothing on you, but they definitely have an agenda that they want a future with you. Okay, so um, calling in your soulmate. Like I, I feel like they want you to see like you like they are that person that you've been praying for, manifesting for, or this whole time like this is the person that you should have met you know, a while back and you wouldn't have felt that pain. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have felt that hurt. I really want to say like this person is like, you see with the wings and stuff like that, like this person is like, um, your earth angel, like your little spirit guide. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is a person that definitely makes you look at life and look at things from a different angle. And it's just like, hmm. they want you to see like what you want is not far out of reach. You get me? Like all those people fun with you for a good reason. Just so you can land and come to them and get to them. Like, this person's here. It's like, I don't want to say it, but, like, this person's probably here to save your love life. <laughs> you get me? It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualization help bring you together. So this could be someone that you, like, to the T, manifested. Okay? 
make these messages as clear as possible like uh, this first almost the whole future with you because with this children being here like i feel like this could be like literally having physical children or helping you feel young again opening up your um inner child um having fun with you you get what i'm saying like, like not for forcing anything making you laugh flirting you always smiling giggly kiki. like i feel like that's what this person wants to do that's their long-term fantasy with you is to keep you smiling keep you happy keeping you feel like you're beautiful keeping you feeling like you are safe you know that you are safe and you can you can unwind here you can you don't you don't have to be so hard you can you know make these messages as clear as possible give me one more card universe what are their long-term fantasies with pound number one okay we also have here chemistry the bottom of the deck we have attraction and we also have here honeymoon like this person wants the relationship to feel lighthearted. they don't want it to feel like you know um you're forced to in anything like this person wants it to be natural with this chemistry card being here they want things to flow very naturally all right so we're going to get some um what are their sexual fantasies now so let's hop right on into it like i said earlier i can already tell like this is a person that is very dominant in the bedroom this is someone that like um let's say you said some slick shit earlier in the day that person's gonna be like all right i got you and then they're gonna give it to you real good in the bedroom you know that's what that's that's the type of energy i'm getting this is a person that you know they want to see you being pleased first but they they know like the, this the, yeah like if they don't satisfy you the first time around they gonna really give it to you the second time around like this is not a quitter whoever this person is they're not a quitter okay let's get let's get some cards make these messages as clear as possible universe spirit spirit guys what are sexual fantasies with pound number one? Okay, we got one. It says, after we have sex, I feel rejuvenated. <laughs> what are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. I was saying that too. I feel like this is a person that, um, this is a person, like, if they are a male and they have a penis, they have a big dick, okay? This is a person that has a really big dick, and it's like, they have big dick energy, and they have it, they have the the shit between their legs to really like really prove that point. And if it's if you're a man and you're inter interested in women, like this is a girl that know how to grip the you know grip her walls and make you feel it. You get what I'm saying? Um, but we got a dirty toxic dick, and I feel like this is like I said, this is a person that has a really big dick, or this is a person that you know that has sex really good. They fuck really good. Um, and this, like I said, this is a, I'm hearing, I don't want to say punishment, but this is a person that don't mind bringing toys into the bedroom. This is a, um, the sexual fantasy is probably to like tie you up, um, get some whips, like on some, it's, what is it called? BDSM or uh, am, I, am I saying too many letters? You know what I'm saying? Like they want to, um, they want to, I don't know. They want to wrap, they, what is it called? Bondages. Um, I can see them sitting here telling you to wear a certain or a specific thing. Like, this is per this person is really freaky. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? That's too many cards, but thank you. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? Sexual fantasies with pound number one. Make these messages as clear as possible. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? Sexual fantasies with pound number one. Too many cards. Too many cards. We're gonna get a couple more and then I'm gonna read them to you. Give me one second. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number one? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Let's see what we have, all right? So the sexual fantasies with you is, definitely this is a person with this cream poppy in here. I, I'm trying to tell you, this person wants to, they want to dominate you. Like, they, they don't want you to move. They want you to sit right there. This is an individual that their sexual fantasy is to come all the beside you. This is what I'm saying. I want. I feel like they want to have children with you, for sure. Um, It's like they want to do a cream pie. It's like, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Period. Okay? This is a person that wants to get freaky. They want to hear you saying, like, it's all mine. Like, you know, take this, this, and a third. I want to feel that. Like, like, they want you to talk freak. Like, that, that's another thing, too. I feel like their sexual fantasy is for you to tell them, like, yeah, come inside me. You know, let it loose, this, that, and blah, blah, blah. This is a person 
yeah less than, not too much okay <laughs> so we have loose and dry here um I feel like if, if some of you haven't had sex with this person and you're just curious about what they may be thinking, I feel like for them not to get hard or for them not to, you know, get moist and wet or whatever the case is, they try to think about you like having a dry coochie or um, however it may go vice versa, the um, other way around. We have celibate here. I feel like this person doesn't want you to give it up to nobody. They want nobody else having sex with you. They don't want the thought of you even touching anybody to go past their head. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They sexual fantasies for you to only be with them and not be with anybody else they probably don't even want to hear you saying that you've been with anybody else we have bounce on the dick so this is this is definitely given like this is a person this is the ass man this is someone that likes ass or um they like you they, they like to be in control but they want they want to make sure that you know they like the feeling of this is interesting this is very interesting i feel like this is a person that like yes they'll let you do what you want to do but it's like if they be like you know, get on daddy's dick or you be like, let me, let me ride that dick. They'll like that too. Because it's like, I don't got to tell you what to do. Like you just doing shit. Like, you know, we having fun, fun. Um, we also have here boring, empty sex. I feel like this is what this person is used to and they don't want that with you. And that's probably what they be, they be thinking. Like, especially if you are like with this element being here, like if you are someone that hasn't had sex with this individual yet, they probably like, oh yeah, you know, they probably haven't had sex or they're not having sex with me because their sex is whack or this, blah, blah, blah. I really feel like they think these type of things so they won't be like down your throat or trying to touch on you and it these are this is for those that like haven't had sex with that person but you know y'all still talking y'all still being physical like physical in a in a sense of like mentality or whatever cases like texting calling things like that but you guys haven't gotten like you know you can you haven't got all the way it hasn't been a home run yet um we also have here perfect breasts so this person definitely does um look at your body they enjoy looking at your body that's probably why we also have bounce on a dick because like i said this person likes ass this person probably likes titties like they just admire your body we also have you make me come so fucking hard i'm trying to tell you like if this person um jerks off to you especially if you haven't had sex with this person we have multiple orgasms like this person has been thinking about um if you guys haven't had sex yet fucking you raw um Safe sex is great sex. Let me put that in there. But this person is thinking about having sex with you, bro. This person is thinking about what you feel like. Um, how, like, I, I, I can get crazy. Like, this person is really sitting here thinking about what you look like on their dick, whether it's, like, fucking you missionary and he looking down and he's looking at it just going in and out or simply just, you know, feeling all of you. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person's kind of possessive. So be careful of that. Be careful of that. We also have here booty rubs. We have passionate um, dick massage. And we have body of a goddess. Like I said, this person really enjoys your body. This person really enjoys what you look like. You could be someone that's very busty. Even if you're someone that has like small boobs and a small ass, like that person's like, we ready to go. Like it, it, and it's only because it's on you. And that's why this person enjoys looking at it. This person enjoys feeling you. Um, This person wants you to feel them too. Especially, I'm trying to tell you that man dingo. They want you to feel all that. <laughs> but my beautiful pal number one. So that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonates. If it did, let me know in the comment section. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, ladies. Hello, my beautiful pal number two. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be what are their long-term slash sexual fantasies. If you are not 18 and over, please skedaddle. Thank you very much because this is for grown folks. And if you can't even, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know I got time. But, um, yeah, we're going to hop right on into this reading. I hope that you enjoy it and it resonates with you. And, yes, let's start. If you message this as possible, universe, spirit, spirit, guys, we're going to start off clearly with the long term and then we're going to get into the sexual fantasies. What are their person's long term fantasies with them? What is pound number two's person long term fantasies with? Sheesh. Relax. Relax. What is pound number two's person long term fantasies with them? What are their long term fantasies with pound number two? If you message this as clear as possible, universe. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number two? Okay, so we have here the page. We have the page of water. What are their long-term? What are their long-term fantasies with pound number one? Their long-term fantasies with pound number. One? Sorry, pound number two. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number two? Okay, we also have here the ace of fire. What are their long-term? Fantasies with pound number two. We also have here Messenger of Earth. Okay. 
and the bottom of the deck we have here the two of fire and we also have here the hanged man so what i'm getting here is this is a little bit interesting what's underneath it here we have the Hierophant. okay the world card i feel like they're long-term fantasies with you with the page of water ace of fire I really feel like it's to show you something new, maybe creative. Um, also, to show you that they can take control, like they're very passionate about you. That's a long-term fantasy with you. I feel like this is a, someone that's very interested in bed. Like this person likes doing different tricks, flips, and all this extra shit. Um, I feel like they want to show you that they're very stable. With this page of waters being here, I feel like they're not taking things um, too seriously. They're not forcing the situation. I feel like it, in your head, it's like it's... um. I don't want to say it's unrealistic because it, 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 this kind of feels like pile number one. Of course, I'm going to get more cards to get more in depth, in depth. but it, it's just given like their long-term um, fantasy with you is definitely to start something new, start something better, um, maybe open up businesses, um, get new ideas. Like I said, going out on dates and stuff like that or um, doing movie dates at home, things like that. Um, calling you texting you because that's what it's given this is given like a person that likes to talk a lot this is a person that likes to be on the phone um this is someone that likes to like i said with this message of earth is given like this person is really good at giving advice or this person is good at listening this person is very grounded very calming um this is a new person with this ace of fires being here for sure um this is a, per a person that's very career driven. I feel as well that th that's their long term fantasies for you to realize, like you know, that they trying this as well. Like they in the space of learning th things as they go. You know, their most important thing is that they like they do like stability. They like um, this is a very spontaneous person. This could be someone that was heavy in a dating pool, or this person never really wanted to be in a relationship. You know, at one point. They, I feel like they want to show you that they're different. They want to show you that they're really grounded. They're not just talking, just to talk. Let's see. Let's see. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? Okay, so we have um, number 12, the hangman, hang news. What are the long-term fantasies with pound number two? We also have here the six of materials, six of pentacles. What are the long-term fantasies with pound number two? We have here the knight of materials, knight of pentacles. What are the long-term relationships, um, relationship? what are the long-term fantasies with pound number two? We also have here the Wheel of Fortune, um, number 10, the Wheel. What are their, their long-term fantasies with pound number two? The long-term fantasies with pound number two. We also have here number um, seven of voices, seven of swords. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number two? We have the Tower card, a lot of major arcanas. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number two? We also have here Nine of Inspiration, Nine of Wands. What are their long-term What are their long-term fantasies with pound number two? We also have here the Ace of Inspiration, the Eight of Ace of Wands again. What are their long-term fantasies with pound number two? We also have here the Eight of Inspiration, the Eight of Wands. So overall energy number fourteen, Temperance, and we also have here Muse of voices i'm trying to tell you this person nine of voices three of pentacles i'm sorry to meet you that's that song by summer warmer warmer summer walker called karma karma i'm just heading to my job mm. Okay, so I'm getting a couple of different things. I'm getting a couple of different things. But the, 
I, I really feel like their long-term fantasy with you is definitely to give you mutual energy. I feel like this person is moving just as slow as you are. Okay, with the middle of the deck being the seven of voices, seven of um, seven of swords. I don't know if this person, if I don't know if this is an, I don't think this. Just be prepared for someone that is really good at storytelling. Okay, this could be a person that's very good at storytelling. I don't want to say lying, but this person could be good at lying. A long-term fantasy with you, I don't think it's to lie, but maybe even, like, maybe to role play, okay? Maybe to role play. I do feel like this person is coming due to good karma, you know? Um, this person, the long-term fantasy is to show, like, th this person's very unexpected, and what I mean by that, like, like I said, this person is really good at conversation. This person is good at calling, texting. If you need somebody to talk to or show the crying on, this person is always there, you know? With the nine of wands being here, I do feel like this person has certain, certain boundaries. Be careful of a person being sneaky, being a little bit, I, I don't want to say conniving, like just, you don't know everything. Just, just understand that you don't know everything. This person may be hiding a really bad temper, um, or anger issues, take that as it resonates. I feel like their long-term fantasy with you is to show you who they really are. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This person could be an actor. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, this person could be an actor. This person could be... do. They could do, like, a, a voiceovers, or this person has a very interesting voice and maybe an infectious laugh or something like that. Like, like, there's something about them talking that's very distinguishing, okay? Um, their fantasy with you, though, I feel like is to... I don't know why. I don't know if this is a past person for some of y'all. I know that's not going to resonate for everybody, but it's going to resonate for some of y'all. This and, and it doesn't even have to be an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. This could just be someone that you was dealing with in the past, like someone that you probably didn't have no titles with or, you know, someone that you decided, like, you know what, fuck it. Like, let's, let's try this. Let's see what happens here. I feel like their long-term fantasy with you is to show you, like, for you to see, like, you, you waited all this time and now the time is now and I am I'm enjoying it but I really do feel like this person is going to be kind of closed off this person is kind of going to be to themselves you know what I'm saying like they're going to always be there to answer the phone and speak and talk and all that stuff but I, 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 it's given like some days things are going to be a little bit slow other days things are going to be good like this person could be in a space where they're they not I'm not going to they might not be sure what they want or they're not a hundred percent sure about what they want with this tempers card being the overall energy. I definitely do feel like this person is going to be working on them in them inner selves, trying to balance things out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, like I said, this person could have a temper. This person could have a, temp, a temper and they could have a, a, a little thing that they like to do called lying or being sneaky, hiding things. You know what I'm saying? Not telling all of the truth is still lying period. But this person has a spark about them. They have, like, they're fun. Like I said, maybe this person is young. This person could be young. And I'm not going to front. And I know this might not feel good or this might not sound good for some of you. But this, um, what are the long-term fantasies? I don't really feel like this person has a long-term fantasy. Like, this person is, is given more here and now kind of situation. Here and now kind of situation. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe spirit, guys. What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? Okay, we have express your love. What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? We also have here worth waiting for. What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? And I'm also getting here, we have religious factors. Give me one more card. What are their long-term fantasies with pal number two? One more card for pal number two. And we also have here, make the effort, bottom of the deck is heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay, past life relationship. With these, more of these cards coming out, some of you know this person clearly. This could be a friend that was waiting around, because I was kind of feeling friendship earlier, because I'm like, y'all talk all the time. Like, it's, it's just giving, like, this person gives you, like, 
good advice. This person is there for you when you're having a tough time, whatever the case may be. Their long-term fantasy is for you to, like, I feel like this person may have a facade on. That's probably what the mask is. I mean, with the um, Seven of Swords is. Like, this person could be lying to you about their feelings or covering up their feelings. Um, their long-term fantasy with you is to, like, even though things can be going really slow right now, this person is matching your energy. They're giving you the same energy back. Like, if you guys, like I said, if you guys communicate on a, a continuous base, that's something that this person wants to continue to do. Like, it's given, like, this person is very consistent. You know what I'm saying? Even if you guys um, are not on that level, this person still, this person is willing to wait for you, okay? That's their long-term fantasy for you to understand that they are willing to wait for you. They are willing for you to see that, you know, this person is really meant for you. This person's respecting your boundaries too. That's their long-term fantasy with you for you to know that they're respecting your boundaries. They're going to be around for you how you want them to be around. They're not going to force anything. They're not going to push the situation. But as they're doing that, they're still like, I don't know, express your love, worth waiting for, religious factors, make the effort. It's just given like this is someone that's already in a friend zone or this is someone that you probably, um, someone that you probably haven't had sex with or some. this is a person that, like I, like I said, lying to themselves about their feelings, lying to themselves about what they really want to do with you. Like, this person wants to, a mutual situation with you, but it's like things are moving kind of slow. Maybe this person is not in the best, um, with this temperance being here, maybe this person is not in the best mental space. They have a lot of shit that's going on with them personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, but they can't right now because I feel like they do want other stuff. Like, this is someone that you, like, have some type of soul contract i'm not i don't really want to say that this is someone that's like their long-term fantasy with you is for you to realize like they're gonna just they're gonna be around they're willing to wait for you okay right now maybe you and this person don't have yeah i don't see eye to eye on what a relationship should be or how a person should be treating somebody you get what i'm saying like this person could be very sensitive about certain things this person may think that you're very insensitive about certain things take what resonates it could be vice versa with that But don't be surprised when someone hits you up or this person tells you how they're feeling. That's probably why the Page of Cups came out first as well. Like, this is something that's budding. This is something that's about to start. This is something that is fresh. It's new. You get me? But still be careful of this person being a liar or trying to lie about certain things or cover up certain things, okay? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe, spirit, spirit, guys. We're going to get right on into this reading, okay? What are their sexual fantasies? with pal number two what are their sexual fantasies with pal number two make these messages as clear as possible this person seems very calculated so this is a person that's going to be willing to do whatever you want to do in the bedroom if you like your toes getting sucked this person's going to suck your toes if you are a person that you know you just like your your hoo-ha game hey, they're they going to do that or if, if you're uh, a man out there if you like getting your dingling sucked like this person's going to be willing to do it this person's here to please you like this person wants to please you you know Make these messages as clear as possible. What is pound number two's person sexual fantasies with them? What is pound number two's person sexual fantasies with them? Make these messages as clear as possible. Inverse spirit, spirit guys. What is pound number two's person sexual fantasies with them? Oh, this person is willing to spoil you too. We have pain for sex. This person is willing to spoil you. This person is willing to take you out. Okay, I don't feel like this person is like, okay, I took you out. Now you got to, you know, I want to slut you out. Nah, I feel like this person is willing to, like, show you why you should, you know, give it up or give them some sex or whatever the case is. So this person is willing to wine and dine you, take you on trips, whatever the case is. This this is a person that's a spoiler. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number? But th and that's a, another thing that I said, too. This person likes role playing. Okay, I can see this person probably role playing with you or telling you to put your boots on, acting like you're a stripper, throwing money at you. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number two? Okay, so we have um, sex flashbacks. What is um, their sexual fantasies with pound number two? I know they want whatever they're doing. They want to make it. They want to make sure it's very memorable. They don't want you to forget about them. What are their sexual fantasies with pound number two? Too many cards. Thank you. What are sexual fantasies with pound number two? What 
their sexual fantasies were found number two. Let me get as messages as clear as possible, universe. What are their sexual fantasies were found number two? Last shuffle, what are their sexual fantasies were found number two? That's it. Whoa. Okay, that's it. That's fine. So let's get into it. So we have juicy and creamy. We have um, what the hell is tart? Tartrin? I don't know what the fuck that word is. We have this pussy is so good. Okay, so this is a person that likes to. I, I want to say this person likes to moan. This person also likes to. Um, they're very expressive. You know, this is a person that's like, um, do you like daddy's dick or um, does this pussy feel good? Like, this is a person that likes to talk during sex. This is a person that wants you to probably like, I, I, I feel like this is a very intimate person. Like, this person probably made like missionary. They want you to scratch their back, whisper in their ear. You understand? Like, this, this person, ooh, hold on, all right? We have makeup sex. We have don't give up your pussy to anyone else. Like, yeah, this is a person that is very much obsessed with you or this is a person that would like, grow obsession for you for sure <laughs> this is a person that will grow obsession for you like if you would never have sex with this person this person dreams about it on a regular consistent base okay we have passionate dick massage we have unable to get hard hmm. unable to get hard we also have here edging so with this unable to get hard here this is what i'm saying they lie to themselves about certain things maybe they lie to themselves themselves about wanting to be with you physically um wanting to like basically have sex with you um this is the person that tries to put it probably in the back of their head or whatever the case is, so they dick won't get hard. Ooh. But yeah, my beautiful pal number two is this all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.